into a world of troubles and pain, a world of danger, God sent his son as a tiny, fragile baby, born to very young parents in a town that, like today, was not a safe place. And yet, on that night, like no other, for those who were waiting, hoping for God's deliverance and paying attention, there was great joy. Let's join them in this moment and in all the days to come. Scripture says that there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born for you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger.
Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace on those to those on whom his favor rests. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Well, first, I just want to thank each of you for being here with us this morning and for singing. You guys, listening to you sing, it has just made my heart so happy. And I just love that you are going to be a part of this special day with our awesome choir. So thank you.
Now, you know, this morning as I was looking around and hearing us sing and hearing our choir and seeing our Advent wreath and our church is so beautifully decorated, I started to get really excited. Do you know why? Because I know Christmas is just around the corner. Are you guys starting to get excited? Yeah. Yes? Okay, well, I'm curious. What are some of the things that you do with your family to prepare for Christmas, to get excited about Christmas? What are some of the things that you do? Yes? I get a tree. You get a Christmas tree! Yes, Jack! Decorate the house. Decorate the house. Caitlin? Decorate her bedroom. Wow, Ezra. Um, I decorate my living room. Decorate your living room. Michael, what's something you do? Watch Christmas movies. Watch Christmas movies. Wow, Hallie, how about you? Uh, me and my boy will put a tree in our room. You and your brother get to put a tree in your room. That's awesome, Ava. Um, celebrate my birthday. So, and you celebrate your birthday. That is awesome. All right, last one, Vera. What's something you do? You open your advent calendar every day. Who has an advent calendar? Who's been reading through the advent devotional book that Miss Danielle gave you all last week? <gasps> awesome. I love it. I love it. Isn't it so cool to hear all of the different ways that we all get excited about Christmas? And of course, the most exciting part about Christmas is who? Baby Jesus. Yes, baby Jesus. Now, you might have noticed I brought something with me this morning, and I bet it's something that you all have in your homes as you decorate for Christmas, and it's our nativity. However, I'm missing some key pieces of our nativity. So you guys are going to help me put our nativity together this morning, all right? Okay, so let's see. Virginia, are you holding a special nativity? Do you want to go get it? Perfect. Go get it. Let's see what Virginia has. Oh, here she comes. Virginia, what is it? Can you show everyone what you have? It's the angel. Friends, what do you know about the angel at Christmas? Eli. See, the angel told um, Mary that she was going to have a son. Yes, the angel Gabriel came to Mary and said, you will have a baby. Very good. And we also know that the angels appeared to the shepherds, right? And they told the good news. What was the good news? Say it. Baby Jesus. Yes, baby Jesus was born. Virginia, you can place the angel wherever you would like in the nativity. That is perfect. All right, so we just quickly just said the shepherds. Is anyone holding a shepherd this morning? Ezra, you have two shepherds. That's all. Finn, you have a shepherd. All right, Ezra and Finn, can you place the shepherds in the nativity. Now, friends, what's something we know about the shepherds? They go and spread the word. They, that's right, Virginia. They went and they spread the word. What did they spread? What was the good news? Jesus. Jesus was born. That's right. And then they hurried off and they worshiped baby Jesus, right? Okay, so who else do we need? Does, does anyone have Joseph? Is anyone? Jack. All right, Jack. Jack has Joseph. He's going to put... Joseph in the nativity. What is something we know about Joseph? Who's that guy? Vivian. Jesus' earthly father. That's right. That's right. And who did Joseph take for his wife? Mary. Mary. Is anyone holding Mary? Oh, Eli. All right, Eli, you get to put Mary into our nativity. Very good. What do we know about Mary? Finn? Yeah, but she is someone very special, right? She, she gave birth to baby Jesus. That's right, she gave birth to Jesus. She's Jesus' mom. Okay, wait a minute. We're missing a very key person in our nativity. Jesus. We're missing the baby Jesus. Who has, the, who has baby Jesus? Micah. All right, Micah's going to come down and put Jesus in our nativity. Thank you, Micah. There he is. Okay, what do we know about Jesus, Jack? That he was the Savior of all of us and died for the cross. That's right. Very good, Jack. Jack said, we know that Jesus is our Savior. And we also know that Jesus died on the cross. For us. To save yes, for us, Virginia. Thank you. For us. 
Isn't that awesome? That is the greatest part of Christmas. Baby Jesus, he's the most important part. Without Jesus, there would be no Christmas and no Christmas songs and no Christmas joy and no Christmas story. The reason we, we remember Christmas is because of Jesus, God's greatest gift of love. God gave us Christmas when he gave us Jesus. So this Christmas, as we prepare our hearts for the Savior's birth, as you gobble up Christmas cookies, as you open Christmas presents, as you joyfully sing, I want each of us to remember to take a minute, stop and pause and thank God for this amazing gift, this amazing gift of the promised Savior. Friends, I am so excited to hear you sing. And I just want you to know that this has been such a special time because it's so cool to get to see Christmas through the eyes of our youngest. Are you guys ready to sing? All right, let's stand up nicely.
when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that's happened that the Lord's told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying God and praising him for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told.
The Magi went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down, and they worshiped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their own country by another route, changed forever by the gift of God in the cradle of Bethlehem. <laughs> 